Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to install Microsoft Office on an Apple computer. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is go ahead and open up your web browser. Safari comes default on Apple, so that's what I'm using for the purpose of this video. So open your web browser, and when it's open, what I'm going to ask you to do is go to 365.southeasttech.edu. Give you a second to catch up. Once again, 365 southeasttech.edu once you go to this page it's going to ask you to sign in with your southeast tech email your southeast tech email by default is going to be your first name a period your last name at symbol southeasttech.edu click next your password by default if you have not changed it is going to be your initials lowercase and the last four of your social. So for example, if it was me, it would be lowercase t, lowercase r, and the last four of my social security number. If you've changed your password, this is gonna be the same password that you use to log into MyTech. Click sign in. Now if you have Microsoft Authenticator set up, you're going to get a prompt to your phone asking you to approve the sign in. So please grab your phone and click Approve on the Microsoft Authenticator app. At this point in time, it's gonna log us into Office 365. From here, you can access the different apps over your web browser, but for ease of use, we're gonna download it to our actual computer. To do that, in the top right corner, it says Install Office. Click Install Office, and then click Office 365 Apps. When it asks you to allow downloads, please click allow. And it will start downloading to your computer. You can always click right up here where it says show downloads to see the progress of your download. I already downloaded it, so I am going to stop this one for you, though. Um, you can go ahead and pause this video and join me back when your download is done. Okay, now that your download's done, you should have a file that looks like this. Go ahead and click that. And it says you will be guided through the steps necessary to install this software. Click continue. Click continue again. Click agree. It says how much this will take on your computer. Go ahead and click install. And now it may prompt you for the password, the admin password or your computer password. So when it prompts for this, it's not asking for your my tech credentials. This is asking for your computer's password. So the password you use to sign into your computer. And now this will take just a few minutes. So once again, I will pause the video and we'll start it back up once we get to the end of the install and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, welcome back to the video. As long as everything went well, you should have this at the end of your install. The installation was successful. The software was installed. We'll close this. You can always move the installer to trash because you no longer need it. And I'm just going to kind of close everything out to show you how to launch Word. And we'll make sure everything is working good. At times you need to sign into your Southeast Tech account when you first open it. So if you open your launch pad, look for Word, we'll click that. We'll give it a second to open. Okay, now when you first open it, it's gonna ask you to sign in or create an account. And that's what we wanna do because we wanna sign in with our Southeast Tech account. And now here, it's gonna be the same process as before. You're gonna type your first name, period, last name, at southeasttech.edu. Click next. And it will prompt you for your password. Now I'm not gonna go through this part, but it will prompt you for your password. You may get another prompt through Microsoft Authenticator, but then you'll be signed in. And once you're signed into Microsoft Office, you'll be signed into all the Microsoft apps and you will be good to go.